Pokemon fans. Welcome back to a brand new series with a brand new product to open. That's right, I have picked up the Melmetal GX box. My first new product in a while. Um, and I am very excited to open it. And if you saw last week, it was on Saturday, I uploaded a um, video with a drawing. It was the Pokemon Art Memory Challenge. And you can find the link in the description. I tried to draw a Raichu GX from memory, which was difficult, but it, it wasn't that bad, really. It, it took me a while to, you know, look at the picture and come to terms with it, but I think it was actually okay. But this time, I want to sketch something with actually looking at it. Um, so you guys could see my process if you are so curious for any particular reason. Um, but I want to start the series, and its name is going to be Sketchy Saturdays, because every Saturday I'm going to open some kind of Pokemon product, whether it's a big product like this or something simple like the one pack from before, and I am going to do some art, some drawing. Um, sometimes maybe I'll try for memory, sometimes I'll just draw a card, sometimes maybe I'll draw something with a reference but add a twist. I don't know. It'll, it'll be sketchy. That's all we need to know. So I have my handy daddy sketchbook. I've got a different one here that I'm going to start using from now on for Sketchy Saturdays. So let's open it up to page one so it's ready and then dig into this great box. All right, let's just, I guess I will open it on screen. Except it may take me some time. So I'm going to open it off screen. Be right back. But I think I'm fast enough that I don't need to stop the recording. So, and we have, I was going to say lift off, but there we go. We have lift off. All right. We have it open. So that's, whoop, a team up popped out. Something about that, I have to say. Um, team up pull rates seem to be rather low. It's a great set. I love it. I love some of the basic cards, but I have opened, um, I know I could have probably opened more, but I have totally opened both three pack blisters, check lane blisters, both one pack check lane blisters, and an elite trainer box, and I have pulled two hollows. That's it. Two hollows. Um, three, I guess, uh, but two, only two individual ones. So I've pulled Dragonite hollow twice and an Aegis Slash hollow once. And I have not pulled any ultra rares. Not anything. Not a Prism Star, not a regular GX, and definitely not any Full Arts or Secret Rares. So, I'm hoping that maybe our luck will change today. If not, I hear that they have Dollar Tree packs. Uh, I have, my Dollar Tree does not have them in yet, but maybe they will soon. All right, so we got a Fake Collide and a Forbidden Light. Anyway, I'll keep checking for the Dollar Tree packs and buy other products eventually. All right, so here we have the Melmetal jumbo card to add to my jumbo card collection. Melmetal is a pretty cool Pokemon and you guys um you would see that of course um he's listed okay no it's not on Melmetal it's on the Meltan. All right so here's the jumbo card just stick that in the back um if it wants to stand up um packs we'll set aside over here. Here's the Meltan card Meltan promo and the Meltan promo says that he is number 808 so does that mean that the Meltan and Melmetal are, are Gen 7 Pokemon, or are they the first Pokemon for Gen 8, like Victini? I'm not sure if that's been fully addressed yet or not, or maybe I'm just clueless and it has, or maybe it's still up for speculation. So do these go in my Alola binder, or do they go in my Galar, or Galar, I think it's supposed to be pronounced, region binder? I don't know yet. I'll have to look it up or wait until that information is found out. And of course, the Melmetal GX actual promo card. So we'll set these babies aside. I'm gonna redeem the code for myself, but I'll share some pack codes and we will get started on opening these guys. All right, I will share a team up and a forbidden light and I will keep the Fates Collide and the other team up. So here we go. No such luck, I had a feeling. But for you guys, maybe you'll do better with the code. So go ahead and, you know, if you redeem something cool, let me know in the comments. All right, so what have we pulled from Team Up? We have a lovely Psychic Energy with this new pattern, which I like. We have a Nanu, which I don't know if I've pulled him or not yet. A Farfetch'd. And a Lolan Graveler. Grimer. Execute. Larvita. Meowth, that's right, haha. <laughs> Nidoran, female, cute little bunny with a little flower. 
Oh, we have a reverse uncommon Hitmonlee. It's a nice looking card though. And a Bisharp, or sometimes I like to call them Bisharp, as you know if you ever watched my series, The Hunt for Bisharp, which we did find one from Steam Siege. Not too far into the series, it wasn't too bad. All right. Do, do. Come on. Team up pack number two. Let's hope for some luck. Even if it's just a hollow, like I said, I've only pulled Dragon Eye and Age Slash, so if it's anything but those, I'm happy. But I'd love to pull an Ultra Rare. I have yet to do so. Oh, you guys might have seen something. It looked kind of shiny. I, I didn't look that closely, but um, I think we're in luck. So we got Fighting Energy, Spirit Tomb, Heliolisk, Jasmine Litten, Emma, Moga, Mareep, Alex, Joltik, Bajot, Bajot, and Oh my goodness! <laughs> this is now. I told you, I, I physically I've only pulled hollows. I've never pulled ultra rares, but on online I have pulled. This is the only rare ultra rare that I've pulled from Team Up, and now I have it in real life, and it is my favorite Team Up full art. It is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. I mean, look how cute that is, and it's mine. I'm so very very happy. I have no idea how happy I am. Let's sketch that Eevee. Um, I wasn't planning on it, but let's celebrate by sketching this guy. I was going to sketch Mel Melton, but we might still do that too. I don't know. Um, okay. So you can see. Let's see. So how do you draw an Eevee? Doo -doo -doo. We've got kind of a face shape here. Ah. A little, little crooked there, but that's okay. He's got some cute hairs up there. This is one of those weird pencils that twists like this. Okay, can you guys see what I'm doing? Um, I'll lift it up and, you know, spill things all over the place. Um, do, do, do. Do, do, do. I gotta practice drawing Pokemon, so that's yet another reason why I'm choosing to do this. Um, so this series is gonna be great at helping me out with this. He's got a little rough. Oh, it already looks like an Eevee. Ah, this is why you don't try to draw from memory. You actually use a reference, <laughs> right? Um, Okay, that paw looks a little weird, I must admit. Um, that's okay, though. That one looks a little better. Mm, this little hind foot, a little shadow here. Um, and his little footy coming out. <laughs> so cute. And what are eyes? I always thought that, like, all Pokemon eyes were the same, but every Pokemon has a different type of eye. Like, obviously I should know this. I'm a big Pokemon fan, but I never, like, studied them individually. Okay, the eyes look kind of funny. They're too close together. That's a problem. All right, let's see. Um, da, da, da. This one's closer to the side, a little more round. This one's a little more on this side, a little further down. Oh, that's much better. That's so much better. Okay. And a little nose. A happy little Eevee mouth. Little tongue inside. Um, it's got pretty eyes, like so. Mm, doesn't look perfect, but I'm pretty pleased with it. This little Eevee. And then the eyes are a little more shaded, but yeah. And of course, us poopy, fluffy little Eevee tail with white at the tip. <laughs> Uh, since we've already this far, let's let's do the Snorlax for good measure. Do do do. So he's got big paw coming up here with some claws. Obviously, I don't want this to drag on forever, especially since I've opened a bigger product. I might spend more time on the drawings when I'm opening smaller products, but I don't want this video to be like insanely ridiculously long. Okay. Um, 
I'm just assuming his arm kind of goes like that. I, it's not finished on that side, so I, I don't know. Um, so here's Snorlax. Those little... That's all face. Da, da, da. So the overlap is a little different on my picture, admittedly. He's got ears kind of like Bulbasaur, ears shape. Give him a little more of a smile. Those little fangs. <laughs> um, his little white part of his belly. And some lovely Schnorlax feet. Um. Yay! <laughs> you can't see the foot? Oh dear, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's hard to draw in a camera when I my camera is so rigidly fixed in place. So let's, ah, it's got a broken nail. I'm just gonna draw this foot exactly like that one ish because I don't have a full reference. We'll hope for the best. That foot is like much bigger than that one. But I fixed it possibly a little bit and And he's got another arm over here. Uh perspective's a little different, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to work a little harder on those nails, but um so here's his other arm coming out. It's a little it's bigger than the first arm, but I would say it doesn't look quite as cute as the card, but it's not too bad considering I wasn't planning to sketch that anyway. Um not that I've looked that deeply in Meltan either, but there we go. The opening page for our sketchy Saturday sketchbook. I'm gonna have to erase that a little more thoroughly, but we'll do that in a second. We got two more packs to open. So, <laughs> I'm really pretty proud of that, especially for the first episode. All right, Forbidden Light. And lucky code card, and there's your code. One, two, three, four. Lightning Energy, Araquanid, Judge, Dublade, Rockruff, Gibble, Flabebe, Skiddo, Perky, the o Reverse Ultra Recon Squad. That's cool. And a Pyroar Hollow. That's a pretty card. I don't know if I've pulled this one or not. I don't think I have. I like how it's got Lysandry in the background. And the shine is really nice to see on this. Maybe it's because the lighting in here is good today and I got my handy light in addition to another light and it's daytime. Or maybe it's just a really vibrant hollow. Um, either way, very nice. Two great pulls. See if we can make it three out of four. I doubt it with Faiths Collide, but you never know. It's been nice to me a couple of openings recently. Not a lot, but a few. And I'm always looking for that Audino EX full art, which we're obviously not going to pull, but that's okay. All right. What we got? We got a Whimsicott, Ammonite, Zygarde, Larvitar, Piglet, Spoink, Coughing, uh, Rare Snorlax, I just like made a mess, a Volaby, Sleepy, that's a cute one, and the reverse is a Bronzor. All right. So, real quick, I am going to do what I intended to do. I'm going to sketch this Meltan. All right, I'm gonna be super fast, maybe. So all right, here he's got a hex nut because he is the hex nut Pokemon. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm being quick about it, so I don't know if the geometry is gonna be absolutely perfect here, but that's okay. Um, doo -doo -doo. Da -da -da -da. Can you guys see? No, you can't see. I'm going to have to get better at this view thing, and I am just throwing cards all over the place. All right, here we go. So you can see it a little bit. I'm going to be real fast here. Circle. Little round guy here. Little shine over here. Bigger shine in the middle. 
and then fill it in. Oh. Ah, I like this. This is cute. And he's not too hard to draw. All right. Um, this little ditto looking body. Have they, aside from the fact that ditto loves to transform into Meltan, has any more information come out about this whole Meltan ditto connection or am I crazy? I don't think it has. I think it's just that there's always ditto transforming into Meltan. It's got a cute little jagged tail eh, with a little cord coming at the end and a little bit more shadowing. In the body, obviously I don't have time to like fully outline all the shadows, but I'm going to do a little bit so that we get some of the, the ooey gooeyness of the, the ditto here, the ditto body, which is may or may not actually be related to ditto in any way, shape or form. I really don't know. Um, obviously I need to catch up on my Pokemon theory videos and see if I've missed anything. I don't know if I have or haven't. Just kind of shade the rest of it in lightly, except for that white spot and a white spot down here. Um, yeah, that's not too bad. Not too bad, considering. Huh. Considering I was trying to be super fast. And there you have it for Sketchy Saturdays, episode one. I put a title for my sketchbook so we know that this is the sketchy saturday's sketchbook do 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 sketchy saturdays and down here we'll write day one which is October, and of course you never, it's possible, why am I saying October, it's March. <laughs> I know what month it is, I swear. It's March something, 19, I'll fix that, add that later, and I will sign my name, my initials, or CL, to indicate. Um, so there we have it, that's our Sketcher C Saturdays, day one. Um, I'm sure I'll skip a Saturday here and there, but I will try to do this every day on Saturday, and actually do the sketch on the Saturday, so the dates are accurate. Meltan, Snorlax, and Eevee bid you a farewell. Thank you. I really hope you enjoy this new series. I hope it's fun. I hope both the openings and the sketchings are enjoyable to you. But if you even enjoyed half of it, I'd love for you to, you know, smash the like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I will have a new video up very shortly, probably on Monday. I have one kind of stashed away that I opened some other team up in. Of course, we didn't get anything, but there's some cool promos, so uh, check it out. And... I'm hoping to start a, another Zelda video game series, too, if you're interested in that. Um, that might go out tomorrow. Maybe not. I don't know. But Monday. Definitely a video on Monday. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful weekend. And I hope this has kicked you off your weekend or finished your weekend, depending on what time zone you are in, with a little bit of fun. Bye-bye.